Welcome to Chopstick Travel. We're Luke and Sabrina, and today we're in Mexico City. This is our first time ever to Mexico, an extremely diverse country with some of the best food in the world. We've enlisted the help of a local, Peluche Torres, from La Garnacha Que Apapacha, and he's gonna be taking us around CDMX, showing us some of his favorite spots. Honestly, the food in his videos looks so good, it was enough to convince us to book the flight down to Mexico City. So let's go meet up with Peluche. It's gonna be a great day. I am super pumped. Let's go eat some Mexican food. All right, guys, so I'm joined by Peluche. He has an <laughs> awesome YouTube channel. Make sure to go check it out, subscribe. Here in Mexico City, we have a lot of different food, yeah. especially street food. I, I think for me, it's the best food in here. Definitely, It's definitely. cheap, it's filling, yeah. it's very colorful. I mean, it's. It's amazing. So the first place we're at today is serving birria. Birria, yeah. yeah. And what, what is the name of this? Uh, Los Güeros de Juanacatlan. And it's just a little street food stall. Yeah. They've got a lot going on, but we're gonna order the birria. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, the birria. Here. Okay. This is a super cool spot. The birria is sometimes goat and sometimes beef. Here they're doing it with beef and you have it with the consomme, this big soup that looks fiery red hot and they've chopped up the beef into really kind of a fine mince. There's lots of fatty pieces in there as well. And then they take some of that consomme and saturate that beef. It smells incredibly good. It's gonna be my first time trying birria. Let's try it out. Okay, we have the breakfast of champions yeah. in front of us. This is a serious Mexico City breakfast. You said birria is actually kind of like a, a breakfast thing, Yeah, right? it's a breakfast thing. I mean, people usually eat this at night as well, yeah. but I think for me and a lot of people, it's for breakfast. First off is the tacos. Yeah. It looks like there's two. Is that two tortillas on the bottom? Yeah, there, there's. we call it here in Mexico City, well, in the whole country, is the normal tortilla yeah. and the copia. In case if you drop something, yeah. you can make another taco from that. Okay. This is. The same thing, right? But yeah. it's just not in taco form. But yeah. This is with the broth, with, with the, the broth, soup. with the consomme, with yeah. lots of onions in there, big chunks of beef, yeah. lots of fatty parts in there as well. Those are that, the and best. This is uh, stewed for quite a long time. We asked them yeah. three, three hours. Three said. hours. Yeah. yeah. I think this is gonna taste really good, so let's dig in. Yeah. Yo, let's, How do you say it? Provecho. 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 Okay, let's try. Hello. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's full of flavor. So much flavor. It's so tender. It's really tender and we've got the lime. Well, we brought the lime. But it's amazing. I mean, it's still good as is. Yeah, it's still. That red sauce yeah. is uh, definitely got a kick to it. A little bit spicy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, that's a good breakfast. Okay, we're gonna try out this one. Should we put lime in this or? Uh, yeah, if you want. Yeah, okay. I'll put a little bit all over it. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Oh man, this just looks so ridiculously delicious. Look at this part, guys. It doesn't get more beautiful than that. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's worth coming to Mexico City alone. <laughs> the flight doesn't matter. That is so, so good. Yeah. Oh man. It's I not as spicy, it. like I thought it was gonna be really spicy, but. There's spice, but yeah. it's not too much. Yeah, I think yeah. It, it, it is because of the, the color, right? I mean, it looks yeah, yeah. spicy, but the spicy thing in here is the salsa. Oh, okay. But yeah, you can yeah. have it like this, and it's gonna be pretty normal. It's just intimidating. Like, you think yeah. it's gonna hit you in the back of the throat, but it's not too bad. And yeah. of course, that meat is so tender. A little bit bigger chunks in this uh, dish. And then I love all the fresh onions and everything in there, too. Oh, man, that is amazing. Okay. And also, mm. a pretty normal thing in here is you need to have like the chunk over here and you have tortillas. Okay. So instead of the, the taco, like you can make your own taco. Oh. So Do you it yourself. It yeah, yeah, yeah. DIY taco. taco and you tree. can have like a little oh, bit of the trip man. over yeah, here. Yeah, I can tell you're a pro. You've yeah. done this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many times. So you have oh, a lot wow. of chunks <laughs> and also put a lot of lime. Gotta go with the lime. The lime really helps. Yep. <laughs> Those are some. Seriously juicy tacos. Oh, what a way to start the day. Yeah. 
is the best way to start a day. They've also just given us the consomme in a mug. Just check this out, it is piping hot. So good for a colder morning here in Mexico City. Wow. Oh my God, that's so flavorful. Finished up with the birria. That was absolutely incredible. What a first thing to try in Mexico. That really set the bar. And we are walking down the street now here in CDMX to try flautas. There is literally street food everywhere you look here in Mexico City. And we just made it to our next spot here for flautas, which we'll show you here in a second, but such a cool outside of the restaurant. You know it's gonna be good. It's been around since 1956, so let's go ahead and try it out. So the flautas are a rolled and fried tortilla with a very thin layer of meat on the inside. And then he tops it with three things. Starts with sour cream, he kind of paints it onto the outside of the flautas and then he tops it with a little handful of cabbage and then he's got a little mini shovel that he uses to put the red salsa. That's the simple ingredients that make the flautas so delicious here. And Peluche said they're super good, so let's go try them out. Flautas are basically crispy tacos that are longer than the usually taco that you can get on the street. And these are very special because they are called flautas de aire, mm -hmm. that it translates to flautas of air. Yeah. that it's kind of funny, at least to me and for people in here, because it has a tiny piece of meat, but it has almost nothing, so it's yeah. full of air, so okay. that's why it's called a flautas de aire. This one is very special because the people come here mm -hmm. just for the sauce. Okay. Not, not, well, I mean, for the whole plate, the whole food, but especially because of the sauce. All right, well, it looks and smells amazing. Yeah. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I love this place. Wow. This is one of my favorite places in all Mexico City. That is amazing. It actually has quite a spicy kick yeah. to it, I would yeah. say. It's kind of spicy. And then the crunch from the cabbage and then the crispy tortilla. Mm -hmm. oh, that is heaven. Mm. Just a little bit of meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see it in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have luck. We have a tiny piece of meat. But you can feel it. I mean, the whole flavor is inside the salsa. Yeah. And so much flavors in yeah. that salsa. And the toppings are like just for the kick that yeah. you need. <laughs> These definitely have more of a kick than the buria. It's super spicy. That salsa is phenomenal. And look at just a little bit of beef in there. Mm. Because these flautas are so spicy, we've actually ordered up a really special drink. So what is this called? This is called tepache. Tepache. It's a drink that usually uh, it is on the taco stalls. Well, not stalls, but in the restaurants, little yeah. restaurants, and it's made of uh, pineapple okay. and also brown sugar. Okay, and it smells a little bit fermented. So yeah, this it's is fermented. A fermented yeah, drink? it's a fermented drink. This should yeah. cool us off. It has zero alcohol, but it tastes amazing. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Really good. Yeah, it actually has like a slight fizziness to yeah. it from the fermentation. Exactly. And it's super sweet. Yep. Wow, that instantly quells the spice. Oh, that's good. And served <laughs> from a barrel too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. That's classic. Whew. Okay, the sweat is starting at this point. The spice is building and it's getting like increasingly more spicy. You got too confident at the Furia place but, thinking but, but that it wasn't going to be right? spicy. It's so <laughs> it, it worth it. it. it come is. on you guys, you come to Mexico City, you need to try these flautas. Those were some awesome flautas. They only have the flautas and the tabache and I think there was like two other things on their menu. So they're really famous for their flautas. And look at everywhere you look, there is some seriously good smelling good looking street food here in Mexico City. And we don't have anything on the plan except for eating.
here at Tortas El Chatin. This place is super famous for their tortas, which is like a Mexican sandwich. And we were just in the kitchen. Wow, it looks amazing. So they're frying up Oaxacan cheese, chorizo, eggs, patties, basically anything that can go on a sandwich. And then they put them all together with these homemade pickles. So jalapenos and carrots all fermenting in-house. The sandwich is huge. We've just ordered one now. Wait till you see it. Check this out. This is literally the definition of ugly delicious. <laughs> that is a sloppy burger. That's the uh, Oaxacan Oh, cheese, right? cheese, yeah, yeah. or quesillo. And yeah. What, what is this right here? Uh, this is pierna. I don't know how to translate it, but it's pork. It's pork? Okay. Yeah, and then pork. is inside this one a patty? Like a beef patty? Yeah, it's a beef patty. Okay. That's why we, we came to this place because it's a unique place where you can find a mix between a hamburger and a torta. Yeah, so okay. usually tortas in here, we put it schnitzels like um, okay, like a breaded fried bread, schnitzel yeah, and then chopped up. Exactly, yeah, yeah. but in here they use the ground meat. Okay, so more like a Big Mac torta. Exactly, <laughs> and also they put a lot of um, ketchup. Ketchup, and yeah. ketchup is not common in tortas, so that's why this uh, place is very special. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try it out. My mouth is <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, right off the bat, I noticed those pickled jalapenos, right? Yeah, pickled yeah. jalapenos. A yep. little bit of spicy, but not too bad. I like the sour flavor yep. from the jalapenos. And that cheese is like so melty and a little bit salty. It's coated in all that ketchup as well. And then I love that little patty on the inside. Look at that thing. There's like 10 layers yeah, of yeah. different stuff going on the cheese, in there. The cheese, the pierna, the patty and then the pickled uh, jalapenos. And also they have uh, uh, refried beans. Refried beans? Refried beans. Oh, and also okay. I forgot the mustard. Oh man. Mm. The cheese. Oh, that's awesome. I called it a Big Mac torta, <laughs> but honestly this is 10,000 times better than a Big Mac. Of course. <laughs> it's way better. Of and I wanted is. to ask you something. Yeah. Your channel, it's called La Garnacha Que Apapacha. And oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but I couldn't figure out what that means. So what yeah. exactly does that actually uh, mean? Actually, garnacha is a word that we, in here, we use about uh, for street food. And apapacho is a common, say to, it's a common word to say hug. Hot? So, yeah, hug. Oh, like, oh, uh, hug. Yeah, oh, like, hug, hug, oh, hug. Garnacha que apapacha, it can be translated as the food that hugs you. you okay, know? Okay. Yeah, the street food that hugs you. <laughs> because when I watch your videos, you do this. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I was thinking, like, is he cold? <laughs> no, <laughs> no not cold. really. <laughs> Especially the here. Hug. But yeah, no, okay, it's like cool. a street food that hugs me. I like yeah, that. That like hugs that. my soul. <laughs> So I'm cracking open this Prisco Mundet. Never had anything like this before. And at first glance, kind of looks like it would be like a cherry soda. Yeah. But actually, one of the owners here said that this is his favorite. And you can see, it's actually gonna be a peach soda, so. Oh, okay. Very, very sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it is kind of unique because you don't find this anywhere. No. I mean, it, some specific spots, maybe some grocery stores, but it is not that popular anymore. Yeah, and you also have a unique Yeah, yeah too, a like Boeing. A this is like the thing that you need to drink when you are eating street food here in Mexico City. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we're trying to get sponsored by Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing tortas here at Tortas El Chatin. We're gonna jump in a Uber and head to our next spot across town. Yep. Luke. Yeah. Luke. Yeah. All right, we have arrived at our next spot and we've come here specifically to try something called huaraches, which is a masa dough, which is a corn, um, that's almost like a corn flour, a little bit different. And you can see right behind me here, she's got a massive, uh, massive ball of the masa that she's mixing up that looks like you need some serious muscles to be able to make that. And then they're gonna fry that up and you can get it with a bunch of different toppings. I am really excited to try it out and just look at the size of that because this place is seriously busy with lots of customers. Masa de maiz. Filled with some refried bean paste 
and then it's flattened onto the griddle and fried in this long shape. So we'll tell you about the shape is specifically uh, important. After the huarache, the masa is fried, then they bring it over to another griddle that they're using charcoal and you can get all the different kinds of toppings. So you can get a red salsa or a salsa verde, the green salsa. And they're using a ton of oil. They have some big, I think they're rib steaks. I think we're gonna try that version with the salsa verde. And I love how they're doing it on charcoal. Super cool place, they look amazing. All right, Blue Jay and I are sitting down now for our huarache and the shape is, Pretty specific, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it supposed to look like? It is supposed to look like a guarache, like it's a sandal. A sandal. Like a sandal, like the bottom of a sandal, okay, right? A Mexican sandal. Yeah. There is a, a mariachi band, so that's why it's loud. Yeah, yeah. actually, it's a, a duet. A duet. Oh, a duet. Oh, not a yeah. mariachi. Yeah, yeah just not a mariachi. It's a duet, but it is common that you're going to go to maybe on a weekend with your family to eat, and you can hear the, like live music. So oh, I like it's it. pretty normal. We've got the two types of. Salsa, the red salsa? Yeah, red salsa and salsa verde. Salsa verde. And then this is a rib steak, beef steak, right? Yeah. We just need uh, white and then we've got the Mexican flag, right? Yeah, <laughs> actually yes. And take a little piece of steak for sure. Gotta yeah. add a little bit of that. Oh wow, that's really tender. And also another thing in here that you guys can see, uh, it yes. has refried beans inside the muscle. Alright, yeah. let's Cheers. Try. Cheers. Definitely a little bit of spiciness coming from the red salsa, but that is like seriously heavy. Yeah. Really filling because the beans on the inside and then the masa corn. Yeah, or the carbs. You can feel it. And then a steak on top. So it, it's really like a, a full meal itself. Not yeah. something to have after eating birria, flautas, <laughs> and uh, tortas, but it still tastes good. Yeah, and I would say like people here in Mexico City, we like, we love these type of things because it's filling. Yeah. It has a lot of consistency with the, the meat and all the beans. Mm -hmm. And it combines uh, the three stuff that we love. Like it's the salsa, yeah. the masa, yeah. and also some meat mm -hmm. and it's kind of cheap I mean for everyone that is you can also share it yeah so definitely. 35 pesos for each one is really good let me turn it yeah well, I gotta try the salsa verde this time I'm gonna try this one yeah is this one spicy or no it is not spicy not at all spicy at all okay good. and I will say that this is my favorite salsa like this one the one that is made with a uh, chile pasilla y morita oh. You like the red? Yeah, I think I like the green. This one. Yeah, really. I like the green. I like the. It's got a little tart sourness yeah. in there. Mm. It's a little bit more sour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's made with the green tomatoes, right? Tomatillo. It's made of tomatillo, um, chile de árbol, mm -hmm. and garlic, salt. Yeah, garlic yeah. definitely. There's a lot of garlic in there, but those to tomatoes give it a nice tart flavor. You think you can you can finish? Like all the warachi only you? Um, maybe if I didn't eat a half a torta, <laughs> three flautas, and a bowl of beer. <laughs> Mucho gracias, thank you, bye. Wow, that was awesome. Seriously feeling, I'm not gonna lie, we're all very stuffed. We were planning to go try one more place, but I think we're actually just going to have maybe a snack and check out uh, the market that's near here. It's famous for flowers, I guess, so let's go check it out. Yes, yes, yes. 
So this is the Mercado Jamaica or Jamaica market and there is so many different piñatas here. You can see them all hanging from the roof. They also serve lots of fresh fruits, veg. You can get everything here really. It's got it all. And look at this. Green pomegranates. Never quite seen one that looks like that. A lot of interesting uh, types of fresh fruits that we definitely don't see in our travels in Asia or Europe. So apparently this market is also famous for their flowers and there's so many different varieties and colors and the prices are really cheap just like most things here in Mexico. Another band too. Oh this guy wants to sell me some sell me some flowers. <laughs> Friendly people. So we've stopped right in the market at this place that specializes in a couple different things, corn, and we're gonna try their grilled corn, grilled over charcoal, and we ordered it with uh, chili lime salt, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, this is, like we mentioned before, a staple product here in Mexico. You gotta try uh, corn something when you're here. It's pretty much impossible not to. Okay, so you have to pick the corn. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, is oh, this one looks really good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go for one. that one. Yeah, and which other one? Uh, yeah, that's your choice, you pick. I will take this two. Esos dos están bien, este y este, sí. Gracias. Eh, do you want it spicy or...? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sí, que piquen, por favor. Corn, corn, and more corn here in Mexico City. Look at <laughs> the size of this corn on the cob, and it has been grilled to perfection covered in some extreme chili. <laughs> yeah, I think it is not that spicy, but <laughs> we'll you can see. put a lot of lemons, so it will take the spiciness a yeah, little I down. Yeah, I got a little here. Yeah. Sprinkle that on top. Let's go in. There we Dig go. In. Yeah. The individual corn pieces are so big here. It's totally different yeah. from what we have back home. But wow. Very, very smoky from the grill. I bit into a super grilled part right there. Really good. What do you think? Yeah, actually, this is another type of corn that we usually uh, buy on the streets here in Mexico City. This is called cacahuatzintle. And it's, uh, you can see, it's a little bit more uh, fatty. It's a little bit more intense on the flavor. Just a little bit more. Always prefer corn grilled over charcoal. Mm -hmm. One of the best ways to have it. I don't know how many different types of corn there are in Mexico, probably hundreds, right? A lot. Thousands? Yeah, maybe? yeah. Maybe hundreds. Maybe hundreds. Or, no, I don't know, but there are a lot. There are a lot of types. And this one's got the biggest corn kernels yeah. I've ever seen, for sure. It's pretty fatty. Yeah, <laughs> let's give it a try. Mm. There's a lot of juice mm -hmm. in those kernels, too. They burst. Mm. And it's so satisfying to make the bite because yeah. it's so soft and it's yeah. so fatty. It doesn't get stuck in your teeth as much. Yeah, exactly, yeah. All right, guys, that's it for day one here in Mexico City. Huge thank you to Peluche. Make sure to check out his channel, subscribe. All the information is down in the description box. What a great day of eating. What was, what was your favorite thing we had today? Uh, I think my favorite part was the birria. I think it was Same. the birria. Yeah. I, I third that. Very filling. Very good. Perfect for breakfast. I could eat Absolutely. it all day long. The weather was perfect as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to see you tomorrow for some more yeah. food here in CDMX. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And see you on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye. Bye.